Okay, I feel like I haven't really had a chance to breathe yet today. Um, traveling stresses me out a little bit, so until I'm in the hotel room, which I am now, it's kind of just constant panic. But we made it. I am in Aspen, Colorado at the St. Regis. And um, I am about to go downstairs to meet my colleagues, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick before I did that, just because I think it's really cute. So. As you can see, kind of simple, very mountainy, some jeans and a sweater, white long coat, earmuffs. Uh, my mom was still over this morning when I left. She left today with my sister, so she did my hair, super cute. French braid, simple but really easy for travel. And oh my God, I um, have my luggage, of course. I don't have time to unpack it right now. I need to head downstairs. I think I'm gonna leave my coat and everything. Oh my God, this is so nice. I'm gonna do a whole room tour, don't worry. But um, we made it. I'm in Colorado, Aspen, Colorado. And I'm really excited. I'm very excited, okay. Day one, I just got ready. As you can see, wearing a cute little sweater from Talbot, jeans, um, I have some black flats I'm gonna put on. Um, and I'm about to head down for the breakfast buffet, which should be good. And then, yes, we'll be working all day, but if there are any good shots of the mountains or anything else, you guys know I'm gonna get it. I did wanna just show outside of my window really quick though, before I go downstairs, because now that it's daytime, it's just so cute. So first of all, all the snow, love to see it. And then, oh, that's so pretty. Some of the other, buildings I think I think they're still St. Regis I think it's all connected but the mountains ah it's so pretty it's so pretty here so um yeah hopefully gonna get to do a little exploring while working and it's gonna be a good day but I need coffee and breakfast so let's go do that day one um so they've completely come in and cleaned my room for me which is kind of wild I did come stop in here right before going out for dinner and I noticed that like the bed was remade and my top my towel that I showered with was gone oh my god and they um completely like cleaned up my toiletries which is mildly mortifying I feel a little bad like I hope I wasn't too messy I don't know but I just came back in now post dinner 
and they must have been in here again because there's like I <laughs> There's like a cute little, I don't know, basket on my bed. And I think these are new pillows. I think these are new pillow sheets. I actually have no idea. Oh my God, they're slippers. <laughs> and it says, I don't know if you can read it, it says good night. And then on the inside it says good morning. What in the world? They moved my decorative pillows. This wasn't here. They put water on like both bedside tables. Okay. And they put the breakfast menu here. I... <laughs> like, um, I'm simultaneously appreciative and, um, also a little creeped out. They turned my radio on. It's like playing smooth jazz. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I guess <laughs> I thought right now would be a good time to do the room tour though, because, um, well, it looks immaculate. No thanks to me. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, let's jump right into the tour, I guess. So I'm gonna start at the front door. I don't know if I've mentioned already, but I am staying at the St. Regis in Aspen, Colorado right now. We're starting at my front door, beautiful. I have it dead bolted right now because <laughs> that's just kind of common practice for me in a hotel room, especially since I'm staying by myself in this one, and I know it's super nice, but like you can never be too careful. When you first walk into the door, you are greeted by a Oh, I don't know what that, I don't know what that went to actually. Sorry. Created by a little bar area. Super cute. Um, down here, we've actually got a mini fridge that looked a lot nicer before I put my leftovers in it, but that's fine. Um, definitely still costs money. There's like a menu up there. So we're not going to go crazy with the mini bar as tempting as it looks, but we then move down a little bit. We've got some very big mirrors on some closets. I am one of those maniacs that unpacks when I come to a hotel room. I know you can tell me if I'm crazy in the comments if you really think I am, but I hung up my coats here. Super nice, super cute. They're like put away. And then right on the other side of that is the bathroom and it's got like these really cute, I don't know, barnyard kind of doors, but like modern, obviously. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. So that leads us into the bathroom. Gorgeous bathtub, which I am not sure I'm gonna get a chance to use, but I love it. The vibe, immaculate. Um, double sink, which would be nice if I uh, wasn't staying here by myself, but that's okay. They um, completely organized my toiletries for me. <laughs> that's so nice, but also like, <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm probably gonna utilize that bathrobe at some point because <laughs> that's just so nice. Uh, we've got like a little like secluded off <laughs> bathroom facilities. The shower is one of those like rain types. I used that on my first night here. We'll probably be using again. It kind of like spa vibes. There is a spa in this hotel. Don't think I'm gonna be going to it, but whew, it's nice. It all looks so nice. Moving right along into the actual room part of this tour. Coming in this way, we have the bed which is honestly just beautiful. Uh, these doors lead to the tub actually, which is kind of funny. I think it, yeah, opens like this. I don't know why um, the design is like that, but it's cute, it's a vibe. So yes, big bed, all to myself, so not complaining. Little ottoman, I have my pajamas and my bag set out. So I didn't notice this until this morning, um, but I have the TV on, right? And it's just on its little home screen. <laughs> it has my name on it. This morning it said, good morning, Nicole. I just, maybe I just don't stay in nice hotels, but like, what, what? Anyway, then we've got a cute little desk, some nice sitting chairs over here, the lovely light jazz they put on. And then, oh, they closed my curtains. I'm gonna open them again. <laughs> I like seeing out here. I showed you guys this morning the view. It was beautiful. This is it at night with the lights. So pretty. I really, really hope I get to see some snow out this window before the trip is up, which means it would kind of have to happen either like right in the morning or right at night. <laughs> and I wouldn't see it at night. So 
some morning snow would be top tier, honestly, before I like go to work for the day. Cause um, yeah, basically, I, I realize I don't talk about my job very much on the vlog, but I do work in event planning. It's really interesting. It's a lot of fun. It is, I'm learning a lot. I just started this job back in August and I'm really enjoying it, honestly. Event planning is just like right up my alley. So yeah, that was my little room tour. I'm honestly in love with it. It's beautiful. It is bougie. It is Getting cleaned for me kind of freaks me out. I am probably gonna put my pajamas on now, take my makeup off and relax because it's the end of the day and we have a big day tomorrow. So if I get any good shots for the rest of the week, you guys will see them and I'll see you then. It is day two and I just got some room service breakfast. It's looking very decadent. I kind of wanted to show it off to you guys. Very nice, with a side of bacon, some coffee, hash browns, some fruit, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it looks so, 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 so good. I'm pour myself some coffee. Oh, so nice. They brought me some almond milk as well. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready for this. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this. Um, but since it is a super cute tray of breakfast, I think I'm gonna take a couple pictures in this like really fancy hotel room. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna head downstairs. Forget, honestly. Okay, wait, if I came on Sunday, but Monday was the real day. Monday was day one, so day two. That is a wrap on day two. We had a really great day, I'd say. Um, our actual event is underway, which is awesome. And we had dinner in the St. Regis tonight and I have a glass of wine still that I'm going to finish in bed before going to sleep because it is a 7 a.m. call time tomorrow. But um, it's also not too late. I think it's about, it's 9, 9.45, which is, uh, I mean, if we're two hours behind, really 11.45, but I think I'm getting pretty accustomed to the time change. So I was actually trying to remember if I had mentioned the really exciting thing that happened the first day we got here on Sunday, Diplo was playing in the courtyard of the St. Regis where we're staying, just doing a show, which is crazy. I get to go in and watch Diplo play. Honestly, just really fun to be able to say I saw Diplo in Aspen, Colorado. Like, what? And this is actually the second time I've seen Diplo. He was also playing at Firefly when Ian and I went. I did vlog that entire festival weekend if you wanna go watch that. Kind of a really crazy, really cool, really random thing that happened. And it also snowed a lot today. I don't know if you can see, it's actually snowing right now still, hold on. I don't know if you can really see it out the window because it is so dark out. Oh my gosh, but <laughs> like it's so pretty. You can absolutely see all the flurries coming down. Oh my gosh, that's so magical. Ugh, I love it. I'm actually really stoked to see some snow while I'm in Aspen, Colorado, you know. Um, I'm not getting a chance to ski on this trip, but the fact that it's snowing, there's flurries, it's magical. Um, I bet the mountain is gonna look so pretty tomorrow. The little bit of it that I can see from my room, I'll absolutely show you guys, because I'm pretty excited. And yeah, it was a good day.
tomorrow is going to be a long day, but also a good day. I'm going to drink my wine and chill in the hotel room. Good night. It's so early. I was going to try and show you guys the fresh snow on the mountain, but the sun isn't even up. <laughs> but um, this is my outfit. Super cute. And yeah. I am in my pajamas after the longest day of the event, and I'm on FaceTime with Ian, who I miss so much. <laughs> and I go home tomorrow. But that also means I have to pack because my flight's at 1.50, so I have to leave here at 12.30. We have sessions in the morning still, so we're gonna do a little packing time lapse. All right, I'm exhausted, so it's not the most aesthetic looking, but she's packed. Leaving that open so I can access some of the last bits of toiletries I'll need in the morning, and then I can zip that all up. Outfit for tomorrow, including socks, my coat, my work badge, my boots, my carry-on purse, and per Ian's insistence, I'm gonna check under the bed, even though I don't know what would've possibly Falling under the bed. Ugh. What if there was like a person down here? That'd be fucking terrifying. <laughs> Nothing's under there. Like I told you there wouldn't be. One more day tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. I was initially supposed to depart at 1.50. Glad I got here when I did. It is the next morning. I didn't get a chance to sign off last night because I had a delay on my flight, didn't get home until one in the morning. But I'm back now and I had a great time. But remember, my, I had a great time during my first time in Aspen, Colorado. But I am also pretty excited to be home. I'm glad you guys got to see some of Aspen. 
along with me. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you want to see more travel vlogs on my channel. And in the comments, let me know if you've ever been to Aspen, Colorado. Did you get to ski while you were there? I am really looking forward to hopefully going back someday and trying out some of the ski trails. But yeah, otherwise, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!